Even fighting. Fighting a man of God. A place where God was about to promote you. I have left. Uh -uh. It's exactly what the devil did. When the devil left, he was like, I have left. God said, I, I know, but you see these stones. <laughs> you see these stones? This teaching is a hot teaching when it's one. One day I'm, I'm going to... Am I allowed one day to teach you something? No, I'm asking. Am I allowed to teach you one day properly? Because of time. Can I give, just give you one more verse to shock you a little bit? These verses, you know them, but you don't know them in this way. Can I just show another verse you know, but in a different way? Give a neighbor high five first. Say, so receive your stones. No, no, tell them, receive your gold. Tell them, receive your diamonds. <laughs> You're not serious. Come on, give a neighbor high five. Tell them, receive your worth. Are they receiving? All right. Now, we see another part. It's, it's so shocking, eh? We see another part in Matthew 2, verse 11. Something, something is not making sense. <laughs> On the day Jesus was born, what happened? On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their what? Their treasures. Exactly. And presented him with gifts. Of what? Of God, uh -huh. Francis, uh -huh. and man. On the day he was what? Born. On the day the devil was created, he was given what? Stones. The day Jesus is born, he's given what? And you, the day you were born? So I receive. I receive. <laughs> Listen to me. That's how, one day I was reading the scripture. I said, huh, what is the Bible talking about? The devil who will stop you, he will do what he can to make sure that he stops you. The Bible says he was given treasures. Jesus. And that night, God said to the father, go to Egypt. Have you ever thought yourself to say, how did they manage to fly to Egypt if they flew or they went on the ship. Where did the father get the money from? All of a sudden they became rich. How did they live in a hotel in Egypt? Who was paying the baby? <laughs> the father would just remove one kg and say, oh God. And they were, they were okay. <laughs> when the money is about to finish, another one kg, they sell it, they were fine. May you receive in the name of Jesus. You appointed the time. There are miracles that happen timely. If you miss that moment. Somebody say I'm here. If you miss the moment when God. What he prepared for you. There are things God prepared. And right now he knows it. He knows that you don't know. There is ignorance. So the devil didn't know that the day he was created, there were these things prepared for him. And he rose against God. God he said, you see what? These things now, all these things, they were actually, and I kicked you out from this, from fairy stones. I kicked you out. So the devil is so shocking when we see people who worship the devil having access to, this, to these things where God kicked him out. Am I talking to you? Yes. God kicked him what? And when Jesus was born, they were given to Jesus. It was a prophetic message that what was kicked out from the devil is being given to the church. And we are allowing people who don't even worship Jesus and, and people who the devil was kicked out from and they're having access to these things. But the devil do what he can to stop you. Some say timely miracles. If you miss that moment, you will miss your miracle. And this is why in this season we are praying that a miracle must happen. So never lie to one another. Anyone you see, the day they were born, there were stones arranged for them. 
The Bible never said these stones were created for him when he was born. No. Before the devil was created, these precious stones were already what? There. But the Bible says they were prepared. There was a parcel. A package special for, for him. The day was created, but he rose against God. God said, you are foolish. Get out. <laughs> Everyone else, where you are sitting right now, there was a something, a package. If you don't receive it, you become like those people who pray foolish prayers. You say, dear God, from my future man, they borrow me only one million. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta God <laughs> from, from my future money you know I can't run away if I run away it will be running away to you <laughs> Someone says, I am a child of God so whatsoever was prepared for me I receive it now Said in the name of Jesus. So I am saved. I am forgiven. I am delivered by the blood of Jesus. But at the same time, I know who I am. I am the righteousness of God. I am not poor. I am rich. At the right time, I receive my miracle. The Bible says when the time is right, I will make it what? Happen. When the time is right, I, the Lord, I, I, God, I, God, when the time is right, in the King James Version, Isaiah 6, verse 22, let's read again. A little one shall become a southern, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. It's very simple. But many people do not understand it. And you end up being like the devil, getting frustrated. When the God was about to do it, at his time, the devil left. It's like, I'm, I'm not frustrated. I'm leaving. And the God said, hey, hey, you moved fast. At this time, at the right time, I was about to do it. And you left. There are people who give up when God was about to give them a breakthrough. May you never fail. I know there is someone right now who you, you think you are suffering, you think you have prayed for a long time and things are not happening, but I've come here to tell you there are miracles that happen at the right time. And I feel in the realms of the spirit that you are moving in those times. I believe in the spirit that this time around, it is the right time for it to happen. And the Lord will make it happen. Somebody shout, I'll receive it. Say amen. amen. <laughs> Can you imagine that the Lord is about to do something for you and you miss it? Someone say ignorance. So number one, what can block a person from getting their timely miracle, number one, is ignorance. Say with me, ignorance. ignorance. The Bible says, I, the Lord, at the right time. See that scripture. In ERS version. All right. It, do, you have, do you have ERS? ESV? ESV. They have it as well? The least one shall become a clan. And the smallest one a mighty nation. I am the Lord. In each time, I will hasten it. ERV -E as well. Check it also in ERV. -E Alright. The smallest family will become a large family group. The smallest tribe will become a powerful nation. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will...
even your smallest, humblest family will become as great as a powerful nation. When the right time comes, I will make this happen quickly. When I the right the time comes, comes, I will make things happen quickly. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. When the right time comes, I will make things happen quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now imagine that the right time has come and you're not aware. Do you know that imagine it's the right time and that's the time you are giving up. Can you imagine it was the time for the people of Jerusalem when he was there, they killed him in Jerusalem. He said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, if you knew, if you knew the days of your visitation, if you knew, the devil, stones are prepared for him. When I was about to get it, he rose against God. God said, hey, I kicked you out. Do you know these stones were prepared for him? He didn't even know about it. He was being told on that day. I pray that everything that God prepared for you, and the enemy has been trying to stop you from receiving, not this time around. Somebody say with me, not this time around. Now, lastly, number one is ignorance. Number two, demonic interference or spiritual interruptions. This could be witchcraft. This could be inherited. Demonic attacks or sabotage. So we can see in the Bible so many people who God wanted to do something upon them, but then something happened, it never happened. Am I speaking to you? There can be a spiritual attack. I once preached to you about Mark chapter 5, where there was a man, the Bible says this man was on the other side. And Jesus, when he met this man, the man had a problem. What was the problem? The Bible says that the man had a spirit, a legion, for there were many demons. But why did these demons attack the man? Because the man was an apostle. You didn't hear me. The man was an apostle. The Bible says when Jesus commanded the demons and the demons left, what does the scripture say? They say, the Bible says the man left and he began to move country by country, preaching the gospel. So the demonic sabotage understood that this man is a man of God and he was attacked. I'm talking to somebody right here. How many men of God today they are attacked and how many women of God today there is a, a spiritual intervention. They are attacked in a certain situation they are not supposed to be. And this man was sleeping in, in, in mountains. He was sleeping in tombs. He was sleeping in the rocks. He had no house. He had nothing. The man was useless because he was attacked by a spirit. When Jesus removed the spirit, the man, he became what he was supposed to become. There are people who are supposed to be millionaires. There are people who are supposed to be married. There are people who are supposed to have a breakthrough. But the devil has attacked them. There's a spiritual attack. Until the attack has left, they will still remain like that. It takes deliverance and prayer. And what you're supposed to become or to be, you become it. May you receive in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever intervention in the realms of the spirit, every demonic attack in the realms of the spirit, coming to stop a miracle that's supposed to happen tonight we put an embargo we put a full stop we believe in agreement and we say in the name of jesus not again somebody say not again so there could be so ignorance number one number two spiritual interruptions it could be witchcraft it could be whatsoever it could be So the Lord says, at the right time, I'll do it. That's why Jesus Christ said, watch and pray. Because if we sense a certain external intervention, we have to stop it. Can you, stop, can you stand up on your feet? We want to stop something right now. Powerful. If you are very serious upon your life, that you want a miracle tonight, and you feel like the enemy has been stopping you, stand up on your feet.
And we're ready for prayer. We want to make a prayer right now. And everybody else, wherever you are, if you know, if you know, it is very important that we pray. Somebody says, my time for my miracle. Imagine, imagine God had said a long, long time ago to become some, and you, you are not becoming it. <laughs> imagine, there are people who are born and they will die. What God had set aside for them, they will never touch it. They will never touch it. And they will actually see opportunities. They will actually smell it, but they are not going to touch it. They see things with their eyes and they don't touch them. Because of demonic interruptions or because of ignorance. So we want to pray tonight that God, every miracle that is set for me, everything that you have put for me this time, I get it. In the name of Jesus, we are praying and we are releasing our faith. And I'm telling you this, there are people who will be grabbing miracles tonight. There are people who will be grabbing their testimonies tonight. There are people who will begin to receive and you will feel it that I have gotten something tonight. If you believe it, say amen. amen. I want you to open up your heart because there are things I can sense as a prophet which you are supposed to have and you don't have them. There are opportunities I'm sensing as a prophet which we are supposed to open for you. In fact, some even opened. But it's like there is a resistance and some of them you lost them and even some of them you are even finding battles in, the, in those opportunities. But we are praying tonight that every attack, whether it is from your family background, where you keep on losing testimonies, where you keep on losing, that will stop tonight. Yes. We are praying that tonight something must happen. Yes. Whether it's your whole family, whether it's you, something has to happen. Yes. Begin to pray. Clap your hands and make a prayer. Make a prayer in the name of Jesus. I receive my miracle tonight. By the power of God and by the name of Jesus, whatsoever belongs to me, in the name of Jesus, as I clap my hands. Rika Paya Mande. Rosaya Mahatekepa. Pray, 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 pray. Yes. Keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every demonic interruption against my miracle. I break it now in the name of Jesus. I every spirit. Pray, 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 pray. I rebuke it now. Out of my way. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Stop the enemy. Stop the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Stop the enemy. Stop the enemy. I stop every interference. In the name of Jesus. Make prayer, somebody. Make prayer. Grab a hands and pray. Grab a hands and pray. Stop every demonic interference in your family, in your business, in your finances. In the spirit of ignorance, command it out. Command it out. Yes. Every ignorance. Us. Whatever the enemy has caused you to be ignorant of, command it out. Declare, I am taking my miracle. I am taking my breakthrough. Whatever belongs to you, it is coming your way this month in the name of Jesus. Make prayer, make prayer, make prayer. Masatara barakatosa, renosa la manta la bahate, iva sakaramate. Pray, 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 pray. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Maya Mandere Basika Pahate. We cancel every witchcraft. We cancel every witchcraft. Every satanic argument. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We command every demonic interruption to come out. Come out. Make a prayer. Make a prayer. Make a prayer. This time is your time. This is your moment. Yes. Every demonic interruption. We command it out. Command it out. Command it out. Come grab your hands and command it out. In the name of Jesus. You never miss your season of visitation. Declare I will not miss my season of visitation. In the name of Jesus. This is my time of favor. This is my time of appointment. My appointed time. This is my set time. Make prayer, make prayer, make prayer. 
This is my set time. This is my set time for a timely miracle. For a timely miracle. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My name is Kefrahidika Pahandos. I receive. I am Anderiboshika. I receive. I receive my miracle today, today. Yes. I receive my miracle today, today. Why well, are not going to read, sing it fast or sing it as slow as it is? I will never go away empty handed. I receive my miracle today, today.